Brothers and sisters, today is the 19th of January 2018 and greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We praise God. And uh, if you are not a Christian, well, you are welcome into the family by confessing your sin, repent of all your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And uh, once you come before the Lord to repent of all your sins, accept Him, for the salvation that he has provided for all mankind. They invite Jesus Christ into your heart, into your life. And he become your Lord, he become your Savior. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I would like to continue to share. Uh, uh, can, um, if you listen to my previous uh, 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 video, on the 25th of November, as I was lying down in bed that night, and uh, certainly Lord, the Lord said to me, he said, you can see the angels in the sky, but you cannot see the angels in front of you. And he said twice. Actually, I believe he was saying that you think rapture is still some time to go, but it is already here. So, well, everybody, you know, that's God's timing. It's not our timing. And Lord Jesus has been teaching us to our family and friends and relatives saying that, Always get ourselves ready. Wait for Jesus, but not wait for Jesus instead of Jesus waiting for us. And then, can you still remember on the 25th of November, in the, uh, in the middle of my sleep at about 3 a.m., I was suddenly awoken by a loud thunderous voice of the Father in heaven, and I jumped up from my sleep. And uh, then I saw a vision, a vision of a child's head scar and a double-headed arrow, one going up, one, uh, one side going up, one side going down. And uh, that showed us that um, when the rupture happened, judgment would come down at the same time. And then the child's scar indicated that this judgment coming down is, a, of course, it's a righteous uh, judgment. And also... Uh, tell us that because a lot of children in the world being being aborted, baby being aborted, children being abused, and there's no hope for children at all. When they go to, uh, in the West, if you send your children to go to the kindergarten or primary school or secondary school, as the school system, the government system are teaching the children uh, to accept homosexuality and the parents as well and abortion, uh, homosexuality and transgender and all this. Even children in, uh, in the secondary school, you know, um, more or less teaching children that abortion is 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 uh, how to say is just is is lawful and uh, you know all that kind of unrighteous teaching in school as well. So and uh, now I would like to share with you after the the father woke me up at three a.m. and then showing me uh, the vision. From then on, uh, I kept on, uh, how to say, hearing sound here and there, and I record down the time. And also, even my son-in-law, his phone rang without anybody telephone him, and my phone rang as well without anybody telephone me, and uh, no message at all. So, uh, came to us that we just record down the time. And then find the Strong's number, get the Strong's number for all this. So on the 25th of November after uh, 3 o'clock, woke up at 3 o'clock and then couldn't sleep after that. At 4.50 in the afternoon, I saw a flash of radiant bright light in front of me. Just at that time, came to me that I should write down the time, it's 4.50. And then as I went into Strong's number to look for 450, it means uh, to cause to rise, to rise up. And then um, at about 653, as I was looking at the Strong number for 450, uh, I suddenly uh, heard a supernatural sound from our sound room. Okay, sound room about, I think it's about uh, 15 to 20 feet away at 6.53. So 6.53, Strong's, look for the Strong's number for 6.53 means darkness, gloominess, calamity. Oh my goodness, you see? 4.50 means to rise up. 6.53, darkness, 
Gluminous Committee. And they confirm, confirm what I saw in the vision in the morning. Actually, the vision that I saw, I, I we don't really need any confirmation because vision is something you see with your eyes, with your spiritual eyes. Okay. So, but even according to the the strong, the when I saw the flash of bright light and I got the number four five zero and a supernatural sign is 650 even confirmed by the tingling of my left thumb and uh, one is going up to right up one is darkness gloominess and calamity and then at uh, on the same day at 725 and uh, there was a sound on my right as I, as I sat down in front of the computer I heard a sound like a bird using its beak beak to strike at something that is hard hard like metal so i wrote down the time record down the time is 7 25. so i look up for strong 7 25 means father of a king father of a king or a location home okay let me the house of the father house of the father and uh, it's really and also 725 also means a price or an object of eager desire isn't it wonderful and now uh, with other strands we'll conclude into a sentence from heaven above let her on the same day uh, at 8 50 p.m so i heard the sound like a bird pecking or striking a hard object again so I look for the strong of 850. So the strong for 850 means dark, means gloomy. And then uh, for Strong's Creek, 850 means shiny in a dark place. Shiny in a dark place. And then on the same night at 1039, at 1039, well, when we look at the clock, look at the time, whatever time in front of us or near us, we just look at the time. And then write down uh, the number, the time, uh, the number of the time. Okay, and uh, treat it as a uh, strong. Then it will give us the meanings of the strong's number or strong's Greeks or strong's concordance. What about ten thirty nine? So ten thirty nine, I heard the sound, a supernatural sound, about ten feet behind me on my left, and uh, I look for um, strong's concordance. 1039, 1039s mean made of fine linen. You need glorification. Each believer is awarded by Christ at his return. And it also means righteous acts of the saints. So if we add all these numbers together, all these strong numbers together and the meanings put them together, okay, it will come to, okay, Let's come back to the number again. Strong's numbers 450, 653, 725, 850, 1039. And it gives us a full sentence from heaven above. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Since I heard the sound woke me up in the middle uh, at 3 o'clock in the middle of my sleep. And then so the vision from then on we receive messages through the clock. When we hear the sound of the clock or we hear some sound, uh, it has to be supernatural. It has to be supernatural. It cannot be a sound that is uh, like like uh, you have how to say like a hip hop sound or whatever or sound that usually you hear. No, these sounds has to be supernatural that you don't hear them, but I. Uh, how to say suddenly you just hear the sound okay just hear the sound supernaturally so look for this uh, when you add all the meanings of these numbers together it means to rise up or to be raised up leaving place of calamity to home of father king as a prize shining in a dark place unique glorification awarded by christ to put on fine linen as righteous acts of the saints isn't it amazing isn't it amazing they are the 
a message from heaven above. So, brothers and sisters, in our daily life, we can experience God. We can experience God. Maybe some people say, well, we don't need experience. We only need faith. But honestly, when you are, when you are in this end time, when you go through all the disasters, the trial in life or whatever, and um, sometimes it is such an encouragement when you know that your father care about you, of course you need faith. Without all this faith, without faith, you cannot hear God. Without faith, you cannot see God. Without pure heart, you cannot see God. Without faith, without the Holy Spirit, you cannot see vision, you cannot dream dream. Without faith, you can hardly Move in the spirit of God. So we need faith. We, that is why we need to read the word of God every day. We need to worship God. Let his Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit work in our life. Let God, let his spirit manifest in our daily life. Speak to us through the Bible, through like stones, through things that you see, that you hear, maybe dreams and vision. We need all that, especially in a hard time. Before we can experience all this, I don't mean that you look for experience. No. I would like everybody, I hope everybody can just move close to God and love Jesus. That you put Jesus in your heart. That you can feel Him. You can smile to Him all the time. That when you think of Him, you have a sweet feeling in your heart. And you can see, you can feel his, his peace, love, and joy, and his sweet smile in front of you, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. And you can feel the love of the Father who has never left you and who will never leave you. Please, brothers and sisters, even those who have not come to know Christ, accept Jesus Christ as your, love, as your Lord and Savior. Build up your faith and you will experience Him. You need Him, especially in this end time, especially after the rapture, all the calamity come, all the natural disasters. You need God every minute, every second. Let Him care for you. Let Him show His love to you. Let he loves you to have the experience in Him. Just like how I have dreams and vision, experiencing every minute, every second, because that is the Father's heart. He wants you to experience Him. He wants you to know Him. He wants you to experience Him. And that's why I put out all this, all this testimony, all these encounters, all this dream and vision, strong, all this up in this YouTube channel. It's not, it's not what I would do usually. No. No. And uh, the, when the Father asked me, when the Lord asked me to put it, the Holy Spirit asked me to put it in the YouTube, we just have to do it. We do it because we, we love to encourage others, but it's not for fame or anything. No. We prefer to be someone that is hidden. That's why we've been hidden intercessors for so many years. We, didn't, we don't need people to praise us or even we don't need people to accuse us or condemn us, condemn us thinking that all these accusations and condemnation can improve our spiritual world. That is not true. And that is a lie. Every one of us is the same. We need encouragement. And that is the same thing to all the brothers and sisters who are listening to this video. You need encouragement. And I'm here to encourage you because I get so much encouragement from heaven above. And I would like you to experience God, to experience heaven. Because God is so real and heaven is so real. But believe me, hell is so real too. That's why we do not give room or give any hope, any space to the devil or the demon spirits. We Every day we need the blood of Jesus Christ to cover us, to protect us. And we need the word of God inside us day and night so that the devil has no chance to attack us and uh, if you go to ephesians 6 apostle uh, paul been teaching us put up the armor of god we need the armor of god ephesians chapter 6 and i'll praise the lord amen 
Let us come to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Just now as I opened the Bible, this verse came to me that I need to share in this video. That is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Imitate God, therefore, let me imitate Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, to everything you do, because you are his dear children, live a life filled with love. Live a life filled with love. Following the example of Christ, he loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, as a pleasing aroma to God. So let us, let us live a life filled with love. Amen? Let's continue with Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13 up to 17. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth. So whatever we do, we have to follow the truth. We have to speak the truth. For the devil is the father of lies. So we have to speak the truth. Giving testimony, don't add more and don't erase. Don't re uh, erase. So we have to put on the, the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. We have to be righteous, just like Christ is righteous, just like the Father is righteous. Okay? So for shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Let's be peacemaker. Whatever we do, do it in peace. And uh, of course, you cannot say, well, the government say uh, homosexuality is legal. And we don't support that because the Bible teaching us that this is wrong. This is against God. So we have to put God first above anything or any government system. Okay? Or any uh, whatever you have. In addition to all these, Hold up the shoe of faith. We got to have shoe of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. That's why we need to read the Bible. Okay? We need to have faith. Put on salvation as your helmet. The salvation that can only come to us through Christ. And take the sword of the Spirit which is the word of God. So the word of God is so important. It is the sword of the spirit. Amen. So I hope everybody remember all this and uh, fulfill all this uh, armor of God, body armor of God, so that you can resist the lies of the devil, the attack from the devil, and all the condemnation, accusation, and uh, the pride, just another thing just to remind uh, remind uh, everybody is don't let pride come into our heart. As I said before, all this pride and all this uh, weakness, weak, 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 weakness means unrighteousness. Okay? Weakness means unrighteousness. So all these things, don't let all these things creep into our soul because they are like cancer. So all my life, especially as I move very close with God, okay, all these years, uh, once I, 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 how to say, became an intercessor and saw the portal and so on, I came to really know how to resist the devil, how to resist the devil, and do not let anything, anybody accuse us or condemn us, don't let all these things to attack us. Don't think of it. Forgive them. Forgive them. Because what God has in store for us is much greater, much more important than all this. Do not let all these things like a cancer to attack us or to grow in our soul. So we need to resist the devil in Jesus' name. Amen.